griddling on location is not always as easy as we make it look. There's leaf blowers. Now we've got leaf blowers. So yeah, we're just waiting to get our fish tacos started. Griddle's good and hot. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the show. I'm Spencer. And I'm Christy. And this is Sierra. And it is a, it is <laughs> sunny and rainy all at the same time yep. as we prepare to cook our meal. <laughs> but we griddle on and that's just what we're gonna do. Yep, so one of the things that we love to do as we travel the country, and we've said this plenty of times before, but we love to support local businesses, small businesses, family businesses, all of the above, because one, they usually have fantastic products, and two, it's a great story. usually run by fantastic yeah, people. Yeah, they're awesome. And sometimes, most of the time, we have to go to the small business to support them, but occasionally, the small business comes to us. Which is exactly what just happened here. We're at Verde Ranch in Camp Verde, Arizona, and they have a really awesome area where the food trucks come in, and they come in several times a week, and it's really cool that we get to try different local cuisines and desserts and barbecues, and one of the trucks that just came through was North Star Halibut, and Jim is the fisherman who like years and years and years of his family three generations in of, Alaska yep. um, fish halibut and all kinds of different fishes so he fishes like throughout the summer and then comes down here with his fish truck and we got to meet him and he's super cool and kind of hear a little bit more about his story and that inspired us to make today's meal so today we are making pineapple sriracha fish tacos so let's go fire up the Blackstone All right, to get us started today, the main ingredient in fish tacos is fish. Christy was at Walmart the other day and she found Blackstone's pineapple sriracha seasoning. So when we saw the fish truck and she brought this home, it sounded like the perfect time to break it out and give it a try. So we are going to season our fish fillets, our halibut fillets, with a generous sprinkling of pineapple sriracha and Sierra agrees <laughs> that smells amazing already you can see that red pepper flake in there too it's gonna be nice and spicy to get our fish fillets down on the griddle I'm gonna put a little bit of olive oil and a little bit of butter on the griddle y'all I'm really not sure how this is gonna go <laughs> oh. all right I got the griddle set on low heat so that we don't burn the fish but uh, we're gonna make sure we cook it all the way through All right, next up, while our fish is on the griddle, I'm going to make our sauce. I'm gonna have some sour cream. We're just gonna squeeze it and eyeball it here, but probably about like a half a cup. And then we're gonna do a half a cup of mayo as well. And then some sriracha. Next, we'll add our garlic powder, a couple of cranks of our salt, then some fresh lime juice. All right, that looks great. Oh, I'm starting to see some sun. We might get lucky here. All right, now it's just messing with us because it's definitely raining and the sun is just right there. Yeah, next up I'm gonna cut up some of our vegetables. Okay, we've got a red onion as well. <laughs> then we've got Avocado? Yeah, All right. you Everyone's critiquing my avocado cutting skills here today. Okay, then we're gonna do a couple of lime slices. All right, <laughs> we're still trying to make it happen here. Uh, one of our last ingredients here is a little bit of cilantro. So I'm just gonna cut some off the end and give this a nice chop. And we've got some cotija cheese to crumble for the top of our tacos. I'm just gonna crumble it right in the package. Minimize the mess. Crumble cheese for the win. All right, we're gonna check on our fish. It should be just about done. All right, the fish is ready now, so I'm going to chop it up into pieces while it's on the griddle and then add a little bit more pineapple sriracha seasoning. All 
All right, our fish is ready. I'm gonna move it to the side so we can quickly toast our tortillas and then we're ready to build some tacos. All right, so I'm ready to dive in. Yeah, these look good, smell amazing. Yep. I'm gonna squeeze that lime a little bit. I know you did already. But... Yeah, hey, you, you, more lime than butter. More lime, more butter. Of course I stuffed these pretty good, so. I was so. gonna say. Probably gonna eat all over the baby. <laughs> Yeah, that's so good. Mm. Fun fact. It took such a big bite. <laughs> my first ever fish tacos. I love fish tacos. I order them on the menu fairly regularly. This is delicious. The halibut tastes great. The halibut's pineapple great. sriracha. Pineapple sriracha is a cool yeah. flavor. So I think we're gonna introduce this a little bit. It might be a little bit too spicy for Cade. We're gonna let him try it and see what he thinks. Yeah, this is a fantastic new seasoning and then the crunch from the cabbage and the onion. The lime brightens the everything up. The cheese is really good. has good texture good. and flavor. Yep. This is one you gotta try. We thank you for joining us once again <laughs> through the rain and the sun, which is now back out on us. Make sure you visit blackstoneproducts.com for all things Blackstone, griddles, griddles, accessories, and more. Subscribe and ring the bell on the YouTube channel so you don't miss any of the new videos from any of the great cooks. Like Betty, Bruce, Todd, CJ, Nate, Matt, and us. And until next time, this is Destination Delicious and we will see you down the road.